All right, we want to find the length of this curve, one-third times x squared plus 2 to the 3 half power from x equals 0 to x equals 3. These are actually fairly easy if you don't have to worry about any discontinuities. So when you take the derivative, if you don't have any of your variables in the denominator, if you're trying to plug in a 0, then they're pretty straightforward using this formula that we simply find the derivative of our function. So the derivative of 1 3rd times x squared plus 2 to the 3 halves power. Throw the 1 3rd out front. This piece right here is going to be a chain rule. So I'm going to bring down the 3 halves. I'm going to leave the inside alone, subtract 1, 3 halves minus 1, or 3 halves minus 2 over 2, which would be 1 half. And chain rule says time the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of x squared is just simply 2x. And so from here, I can make this look a little bit better because... That 2 and that 2 is going to cancel. That 3 and that 3 is going to cancel. So I simply end up with, don't lose that x there, x times x squared plus 2 to the 1 half power. And now I take and I plug this into my formula. And I'm going from 0 to 3. And as I can see, there's no problem plugging in x equals 0, so I can just use that formula straightforward. So from the integral from 0 to 3 of the square root of 1 plus the derivative I just found, which is x times x squared plus 2 to the 1 half power squared and I can go ahead and square out the inside to make this a lot easier. So 0 to 3, square root of 1 plus the inside I'm squaring. So I'm bringing this square on everything inside, which becomes x squared. And then, of course, the square root. I square it, the square root goes away, or I should say the 1 half power. And I get that. And now from here, I'm going to go ahead and distribute that x squared. So 0 to 3, square root of 1 plus x to the 4th plus 2x squared dx. Now this is going back to algebra days. You may not recognize, but you can actually factor this. This is your square binomial. So 0 to 3 underneath my square root. I'm going to have, if I factor this, I can factor it as x squared plus 1 times x squared plus 1, or just squared. So that's fact. This is factoring. So I simply factored. I noticed that that's something that could be factored. And I get now from 0 to 3 when I square what's under my, or I take the square root of something squared. I just simply get what's underneath there. And finally, I can find the antiderivative. x squared becomes x cubed over 3. 1 becomes x, and I can evaluate it from 0 to 3. Plug in my values, which is going to be 3, 3, I'm trying to get a 3 there, <laughs> cubed over 3 plus 3 minus 0 cubed over 3 plus 0. Well, that, of course, is 0. And 3 cubed, 27, divided by 3, 9, plus 3, I get my answer of 12.